Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 18th of October. Today we're stealing three parts of the Force device while being seen as little as possible. We are dying, Technophobe, Tough, Ex Sovereign. That Technophobe is quite annoying because otherwise we would have a great key cloner. But oh well. We've got Concammer and Emergency Shields and Glitcher Stick. So we can go fast, but we need to be careful about being seen. Uh, let's go. Alright, got emergency shields and concussive shotguns. As long as we're careful about these guards, we can take out everyone. Check for two doors. Just the one. take you out. It's going to be a little sketch, but I think we can do it. And then going around here is not worth the use of a key cloner. Then we just go down here, get this, leave through this window. Right. I guess if we're already going down here, it might be faster to go this way. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yeah, no, we're going around down this way. And then, depending on what the crate is. Or what the steel target item is. Ooh, swapper. We can maybe get this crate. I don't know. Toss this at you. I actually should have shot at you, but oh well, it's a little late for that. Now you, hmm, this is something to be worried about. I can shoot at you, but then you put up your shield. Didn't think about that. Might have to take a second, throw a thing, get you to turn around. That'll be the safest option, because otherwise you can see me. Yeah, you can see me no matter what. So let's go like this. And give a toss. Stand right here, just in case. Don't want them to turn around and see me. It would have been safe anyways, but... Better safe than sorry. Let's pick this up. And then this ought to hit both of you. And then I realize I should have got your key. God, I guess I can just shoot you. This is a very large, like, explosion hit thing. Or just a concussive pistol. But all right. Make sure none of them are seeing me. And then we get this. What is it? It's something. It sure is something. Should have had this moving while I was throwing the item. Shotgun, please. Yay! All right, seven seconds. Quite nice. Alright, we've got just shotguns. Shotguns everywhere. 
Autopilot doesn't matter. Jammer gates should be fine. Make sure it's not in range. Looks like we're good. Nope, don't mean to look at that. Uh, one thing, an easy way to tell when you can actually swap in with the teleport, with the glitch tech, is it's just the moment you can see the faint outline of the ship show up. And that means you're in range. Like, we can't see anything, can't see anything, can't see anything. Now we can see it. Now we can teleport. And that way you don't have to mash the teleport button. So if you like mashing the teleport button, feel free to go on ahead and mash your heart's content. Now, this is ship two, so we could use this swapper. The best place to use it would be to go in swap with you. We could swap from space, it is long range. rooms so we could just go in swap with you or we could undock swap with you hope that we don't swap with the key holder if we swap with the key holder then we're a little bit doomed Swapper could be very useful on ship three. It's one of the fastest ways to get around like a tracker or predator or something. And since we're mostly just going here, going down, making a trip around, I think I'll save the swapper. Drop some guns. And then, yeah, we'll just go like that. Okay, so this will be the trickiest part. Would it be, hmm. I could go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, or I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has a little bit less risk than not risking being shot by them. I guess let's go up here. And I guess I'll pick up one of these for precision. Hi. Problem I just realized. The alarm's going off. Which just means I can't undock the pod right now. Get it in place. But oh well. I will live with that. Boop. Boop. That's not a gun. Boop. So now the ship's changing spots. It's a bit annoying. What do we have here? Uh, I was hoping a sidewinder would have been perfect, because would it have been perfect? A large swapper would have been perfect, perfect, because I could swap with one of them and then go directly back to the pod. But alas. So yeah, and if it weren't for, or because there's no easy way to get the two people on the corners, it would have been better to go down here, because we could very easily take out all of them, and then wouldn't have to worry about the alarm and the ship changing direction and all of that annoyance. I will pick up more shotgun. I should have shot that other gun. Oh well. Okay. It's going off being annoying. We can match speed. 
And then I can shotgun and shotgun. That turned out pretty good. It's us at six seconds. Okay. Not going to complain about that. Six seconds is fantastic. Okay, we've got shields and heat sensors everywhere. That's fun. Heavy reinforcements, tracker jammer, lots of guards. All right. We've got two doors. Definitely not going in that one. All right, fairly long ship. Let it get away from us a little bit. And off we go. Also as a general reminder, never hold down F or speed up or fast mo while you glitch onto the pod or onto the ship. It usually ends very poorly, as I learned in speedrunning. Um, okay, not huge on this situation. We can disable the alarm if we can get past them without setting off the alarm. That means no reinforcements, and reinforcements doesn't mean a whole lot. It means a little bit, but not a lot. Don't have a way to crash. What if I stood right here in the corner and shot? That would mean at least you three couldn't see me. You, I'm not so certain about. But what if I stood right here and shot? Oh. far into this corner as possible and then if I shoot you're looking up through here so as long as I can get down here fast enough you all will not see me I'm a genius unless this goes poorly now I'm a genius now none of them can see me. They're all busy setting off the alarm, so they're not going to pay attention to little old me. Um, I do need to decide on whether to use that key, get that key, or clone here. If I clone here, I can get up through here. I'm going to be too slow to do this exactly how I want to, but I can swap with the tracker when they're around here, I think. If they get down to here, I can swap, get the key, and then get out. Then I need to deal with them. I can deal with them, maybe. And then this is the last group I need to deal with. But otherwise, I could do the same trick to try and get this key. And then I could get up here and steal, and that would be a little bit smoother. <laughs> They're all acting a little weird. <laughs> Look at them just rotating. Okay. 
I can almost get I can get this key. Steal. Alright, I'm slightly lucky that I didn't bash into your shield. But whatever. Uh should have gone up. Should have gone up. I think this will work though. You can go up here, shoot. You're not gonna see me at that angle anyways. And then you'll start walking before everybody else. Which means it'll be slightly easier to get your key. All right, no one's got full vision on me. Go in, give you a bash, do a steal. Get out. Now none of you can see me over here. All right, where are you at? Okay, you're, you would be at a good point, except there, hmm. The key carrier is being a butt. Uh, this key's easy to get, just slightly out of the way. Let's see, we can go two rooms. I don't think that's going to be enough for to swap with them on patrol. I could get this key, but I don't love I don't love any of this. And I think I'm still going to do the swap. So I can't be seen, which means I can't use the shield to protect myself from bullets because I'll still be seen. Otherwise, I could use the shield and then swap with one of them. Uh, yeah. All right. So. I don't like this. Wait, what am I doing? I've got a key cloner because I didn't use it before. Level five is the last key I need. I don't have to deal with that. Yay. Yay for past me. Now just how do I get past this? I think throwing is the key here. So I need them to both look, I need all of them to look to the right. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think I'm gonna have the speed for that. God damn it. <laughs> There's just not enough speed for that. Unless... Oh, oh. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, if I throw a gun down there, that's going to lose too much momentum. It's not going to be able to shoot. I throw a gun down here, I get them to both look down, and I can then go up and around safely. I think them seeing me is the biggest issue.
All right, this is going to be a big risk. Wait for that to go off. The you. You are my biggest fear right now. Oh, I should have thrown something at you, maybe. I don't like this at all. I think my... Ooh. Okay, so my best bet is to bash into this wall bash up here hopefully minding the gap missing you and then get dropping out of your view for a slight second All right. perfect 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 all right we are in business Then you're slightly in range, so let's get out of range, <clears throat> just for safety. And then we can use this to get out if we want. It might be the best route. All right, pay no mind to me. see what we got here. We certainly have something. It's a gadget. It's a beam. A very big beam. Uh, I didn't check if it was rechargeable. Orange bar means it's rechargeable. Uh, it's a key cloner. Uh, Alright, so that doesn't help us get out. The problem with going up here is there's a, it's very easy to be seen. The problem with going out here is it's very easy to be seen by them. Unless we can get out very fast. Let's see, I shot in this corner. Alright, so we'll start off with a shot then that makes it so that worst case scenario if we can't make it down through here uh, they'll be moving out of the way and we have easy access to the fuel barrel boy don't change don't split up rude all right well should be safe to go this way maybe all right you guys are down in that corner So you're go they're both going to the left. As long as I hug this wall, they won't see me. At least until they turn around. Very surprised they don't just turn around and see me immediately. Normally that's what would happen. Maybe they're maybe their like programming is different once they're responding to gunshots. I feel like normally they would insta see me. But maybe that's wrong. That's probably wrong. All right. Get through here, pick up a gun, remote control, and out we go. Okay. 16 seconds. A little bit long, but can't be helped for a ship like that. That was a lot of fun. I'm very glad I saved that swapper. Otherwise, taking care of that tra the tracker could have been a mess. Especially with the defender popping up. Well, yeah, got a 599. Very happy. Very happy with my performance there. 
Seven two running into some trouble is very easy to have things go wrong in that mission, I think. I'm actually surprised at how many people got a perfect style bonus on this. I wonder if there was some item that people got that allowed for, like, crashing. Most people don't have... Like, the only thing that would help would be... You no, know, like a recharging trap, I think. Because how else are people getting those key cards with all the alarms going off and the shields and stuff? I'm really curious. But regardless, well done to everybody else. Uh, but yeah. Let's see what yesterday had. Me and 7-2 coming up with a tie for 21 seconds. Very nice, very fast speeds. Very good job. Uh, yeah, that was a good day as well. Uh, so yeah, 7-2 and, two, seven, two and me get a tie for first place. We have Debt Imaginer in third, Zazaza in fourth, and Lassar in fifth place. Good job, everybody. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. That was a fun last ship. Took a lot of effort. Oh, wow, that took a lot of time, too. But it was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.